Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the September 2019 tournament recap stream. You're going to be doing a map we haven't seen before, White Rabbit. You're going to be still doing Ultra Godzilla against 400 and Firepluck. Firepluck going for gunships, of course. 400 going for cloakies. Ultra Godzilla going for shield bots. And Steel Blue going for rovers, which is an interesting choice considering the map is... So the map is kind of flat and also very, very dark. I don't know what's going on with this. It's I don't know if it's a... It's just very dark. I don't know if there's an engine bug or something. It's like I zoom in and it gets brighter. And I zoom out and it's like, it's like I have a headlight or something. Really weird. Anyway, yeah, so... It's a thing. So yeah, it's flat. Or fairly flat. And... There's not a whole lot of... I mean, there's a lot of little hills, or big hills, I should say, and some smaller smaller elevation changes, but overall, I'd say rovers are not a bad choice. Shieldbots should do fine as well. It'll be interesting just because of all the choke points. Which is another thing you don't see a whole lot on maps like this. I believe this area here is going to be bot pathable, but not vehicle pathable. Yeah, bots are fine. Vehicles are not fine. No, purple means not fine. So that'll be interesting. Like, a few ways of getting around. And of course, gunships don't care. They occasionally bump into trees, but otherwise do not care about terrain elevation. So Fireplug should be okay in that regard. Otherwise, I don't see a whole lot. Steel Blue here is coming in and... I mean, they're... And again, built up pretty quickly. Ultra Godzilla, I'm having a bit of a harder time. Just they are starting the corner. At the same time, the Western team is barely going. They're getting a lot of reclaim, but their economy is way behind. Fireplug, I think, has have they even built a wasp yet? Yes, they built a wasp, and they're focusing primarily on defenses, more so than they are anything else. I mean, the dart has managed to spot things. They know it's a wasp. It's a wasp. That's what it is. The dart can see it. The dart can kill it, or it can try. Actually, it's more of the Western team is focusing primarily on building up stuff in the main base. While at the same time, just going around, seeing what's up. I mean, what do, what do people know about what's actually up? Not a whole lot. Yeah, at the very least, the Dart is able to get some information. You know, there is construction going on the northwest side of the map. At the same time, Vandal's already in position, so these Locusts... Being used quite aggressively, unlike what we saw with Golda earlier, Fireplug does not care. Fireplug wants to get rid of that worker come hella high water, and they are not going to manage it. That convict does stay alive. Just barely, but it does, and that's what counts. Yeah, this map is very reclaim heavy. Huge rock, appropriately named. 300 metal each. Wow, that is a lot of metal. That is 30 seconds on the factory each. Mushroom's more of an energy thing, but wow, okay, this is... Oh, yeah, wait, okay, that makes... I get it now. Right. Thinking, oh, magic mushrooms plus the huge rock. Yeah, definitely. Alice, I want to know that reference of the size-changing mushrooms. Yeah. Hence the huge rocks. Okay. That makes sense. Doesn't really explain the lighting issues, but everything else makes sense. Anyway, with that, though, it's still a bit of an advantage over in the Eastern team. Like, Steel Blue and Ultra Godzilla, they don't have a whole lot of things they're fighting against. I mean, there's a slow beam that'll be coming out from the con- No, contrary, not- I'm not saying, I'm thinking of Jump Bot. But we're not seeing Jump Bots. Not sure I got this confused. No, Constables are not what's being used here. In fact, Conjurers. And they're cloaked. They don't otherwise do anything. Same time, though, Glaives over to the center of the map are at least in a reasonably good position. I mean, there's enough of them the bandits won't be a problem. But it looks like they don't really care. Just just going back. Don't have to deal with the bandits. Ah, a bit of a waste of nymph, unfortunately. But overall, I mean, this force can come in and start tearing everything to pieces. Locust coming on top of that. A couple of Glaives go down, but this will open things up at the center of the map. Now we're seeing the harassment already going over to the north side of the map. The eastern team is going to have a harder time maintaining the center. They've lost the river control. They've lost control over most of the north side of the map. I just realized, is this map? Well, it's kind of... I was thinking about it, I was like, 
Wait a sec, there's a river, and there's three ways around the map, and there's a little... Eh, it's kind of... Stock standard Dota map a little bit. If you squint. I've been casting too many games that are based off Dota. Anyway, Conjurer does go down. The commander is still up, but a couple Metal Extractors are at least down. And at this stage in the game where most of the reclaim has been taken, or at least most of the easy reclaim, there's still some reclaim in the middle of the river, which I'm surprised we aren't seeing Fireplug taking. I mean, they have the Wasp. They can very easily grab all these rocks. But they're not going for... Oh. That's why I need energy. Okay, build energy, get the fusion reactor up, and then go for the rocks. Because once you get that going, it'll make it a lot easier. Although, admittedly, nice raid coming here. This is where that center control is really coming into play. We're seeing the Glaives able to come in, start taking out Metal Extractors, start taking out Masons. Actually, same with these Locusts here. Having lost the center control, Steel Bloom... Steel Blue and Ultra Godzilla are having a hell of a time actually maintaining their presence on the map. I'm a little bit surprised how this is working, but yeah, this is exactly how this is working. Steel Blue and Ultra Godzilla going for a bit of a counterattack, but unfortunately they do have to deal with these glaives in the back lines, and the glaives in the back lines are causing a lot of problems. Same time, they're at least able to get rid of some of the Ronin. At least able to get rid of a bit of this, this follow-up force, but it's probably not going to be enough. Not when the Glaives continue to run amok in the back lines on top of the Locusts. I mean, attempts are being made to stop them. I mean, I like to use the Swifts. They're helping get rid of the Locusts. And the Glaives are gradually getting destroyed, but that entire back line just got ripped to shreds. The Eastern team, fortunately for them, already had quite a lot to work with. They already had the Overdrive. They already had the Reclaim. They're already in a reasonably strong position. The Glaives shouldn't be able to get rid of the Fusion... They Are they going to... They're not going to get rid of the Fusion Reactor, are they? No, 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 no. The Fusion Reactor will not die. Or... No. No, 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 no. The Fencer gets up in time. It's like, this Fusion Reactor should not be going down. That would be bad. That would be very bad. If that goes down, that is that is going to be pretty much game over, actually. That... Hey, for for how much it would affect the, the economy of the Eastern team relative to the West team? Would be a problem. Not actually going to be a problem, though. In fact, could be the other way around. Counterattack is coming in here over the south side of the map. Over in the bot lane. Have <laughs> a counterattack coming in here from from Steel Blue and or sorry, Ultra Godzilla. And that is actually I think gonna be able to wipe out everything. I mean the Reaver and Runner are gonna try, but with a thug outlaw combo, I don't think the Reaver Runner is gonna be able to do all that much. Bandit's able to get rid of yet another metal extractor. Even more going down. This entire section is being destroyed, and more attacks going over the center, over the river. But it's... Again, just another... Now top lane attack on top... I'm gonna just, that one actually was not a joke. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, both both the north and south side of the map just being surrounded on all sides. Steel Blue and Ultra Godzilla are actually doing a pretty effective job, all things considered, at destroying their opponent's forces. Like, just pincering their opponent completely before getting rid of all the economy. I mean, the center is still going to be open. But that may not matter. I mean, if they take... If the forces come in here, tear apart all these metal extractors here, can just attack through, maybe get rid of some of these metal extractors across here, they can go along and... Well, they're not going to be able to come together that easily. But hey, the, the center is still being defended well enough. The bandits over there, able to stop everything coming in. While at the same time, the north side... Oh, I see. The north side forces, they wrote... They, what if they rotate it down? Damn it, this map design is making me go... Like, wrong casting habits. The forces rotated down to the mid lane in order to take out what was being set up by the western team. Uh, I mean, they did. That is an accurate assessment of what happened. Now they're rotating back to the top lane in order to take out all these locusts... Or all these lotuses. In order to take out the towers. And then rip apart the metal extractors that are right next to them. Yeah, this map design is really throwing me. If you can't tell. Uh, anyway. From there, though, yeah, the top side having been torn to pieces. Bottom side being rebuilt, though. I mean, the bottom lane has been rebuilt a little bit by the Western team. But at the same time, the Eastern team just taking full advantage of the fact that they haven't really... They haven't lost a lot of their own territory. It's constantly building up, constantly assaulting. I mean, this... Wow, the North side is completely lost. I mean, Ronan are coming in, but that is not the force to use against a mass of bandits. That is completely a waste. Actually, the Wasp going down as well. 
problem. At the same time, in the middle, we just aren't seeing a whole lot of success coming in here from the attempts to destroy these Swifts. Yeah, all this is actually what really both? Yeah, both players went both Ultra Godzilla and Steel Blue went for the air factory. I mean good choice to again in the crane to get rid of the huge rock. While at the same time, there's that force coming in here. The bandits are at least being contested by Reavers. Man, that's what the fences are for to help stop the Reavers from doing much damage. But ultimately the point is this is still a reclaim actually in Western Team's territory. So they lost a lot of territory, but they're also getting a lot of reclaim. So it's a question of how consistently that can be handled. And I don't know how that's going to work out, because the Western team, they do have a lot of builders around the map. They do have... I mean, they have a lot of the caretakers, too. They can easily move this Wasp away and start building up further up, reclaiming everything that's been dropped in. At the same time, though, the Eastern team, using that assault, start building up more of their own metal extractor, start getting more of their own reclaim. And their overdrive is in a really good position, too. I mean, they're actually starting to fall back in the overdrive, come to think of it, because they're running out of energy. Might want to get another fusion reactor. However, man, oh, that will matter. Oof, lost a lot of caretakers right there. Coming in with the bandits, should be able to take care of everything around here. Maybe get rid of that last storage. All oh, the storage dying would be a problem for death explosions. Nope. And it's worth noting, both commanders are still up, so the storages aren't as necessary. I mean, they're nice to have, but they're not that necessary. Still, though, losing all of those caretakers is huge. I don't think that'll cause any excess. No, it won't cause excess. There are enough caretakers that it won't be a big deal. But it's still a pain in the butt. However, again, their like the reclaim is still right there. So, oops. so yeah, not a big deal. Oof. At the same time, though, that is a dead commander. Old Godzilla's commander actually went a bit too far forward. So the first commander down actually from the eastern team, while they do have a territory advantage, losing one commander, small problem at this stage in the game, not a big deal. I mean, they have storage. They have another commander to work with. So it's not like it's going to be a problem, but it is still mildly inconvenient. It's still a bit of a, a momentum shift. However, the main momentum shift is the fact that the bottom lane here, like, the center area around the bottom lane, the jungle, I guess, is the... It's being completely taken over by the Eastern Team. The Eastern Team has basically split the map in half. they taking the Southeast, taking the entire North side of the map. The Southwest is the only section of the map that the Western Team even has to their name. And attempts to retake the North side, kind of going okay, but a bit of a Pyrrhic victory on the part of the Western Team. As the Eastern Team continues to ascend in reinforcements along the top lane. And, yeah, with this Southwest Center area, or Southeast Center area under their control, the Eastern Team... They are massively ahead of, or they are mostly massively ahead economically. The Western team still has reclaim to work with. Again, they do have a lot. They have a thousand metal reclaim over from all these wrecked caretakers. But slowly but surely, it's just the reclaim builds are not going in favor of the Western team. And all, like I said, this is where I'd like to see some workers coming here. Like, send this Mason over here. If it weren't for the fact that, okay, if it weren't for the fact that the Mason's able to just reclaim the magic mushrooms. So I guess that's fine. Not to mention this entire giant reclaim field over to the center of the map. I mean, how much reclaim is there? I mean, really, that's a lot of re... Like, 2,000 metal just here. Well, just for the wrecks, it's... Well, okay, the wrecks actually aren't that much. It's mostly the static economy, but still. Or sorry, not the static, the... The static wrecks, the ones that come in the map. That's where the problem is coming in. Same time, fun... Oh, fun lip. Not gonna do a whole lot, I'm afraid. Actually... It's not dead yet. One Raven short of actually killing it, and that will be healed up in time. So it might actually be okay? That was an odd choice. That's a lot of money having gone into that, though. Like, 3,000 metal going straight into that funnel web. Okay. I mean... Might help. It's gonna help take back the top lane, but the mid lane is still... Still contested. This middle area in the center. That's still very much in favor of the Eastern Team. And another assault along the bottom lane from the Eastern Team along with the Ravens coming just to tear apart everything just to see what's... Ooh! Try to see what's going on, but the Faraday making it interesting and difficult. I mean, bear in mind, physics works weird in this game where planes that are unable to fly just freeze in midair. Because who needs to generate lift in order to fly? Although that would be actually broken if the planes crashed. 
still though, this is not so much like, broken. But it doesn't matter what the planes crash if you lose if you lose the entire expansion force to these bandits. I mean that southwest side being destroyed, and it looks like 400's commander goes down. Fireplug still has their commander, but it's just stuck in the river, not really doing all that much with it. Same time though, the funnel web is going over to the top lane, taking out what it can. It's doing a relatively decent job, but at the same time, that bottom lane and bottom jungle, I guess, are being torn to pieces. There's nothing left of that. I mean, everything's being destroyed here. The storage is, or the pylon's the only thing that's really being a defensive structure just for its death explosions. But even then, it's not going to matter too much when this air factory is being destroyed, everything in the bottom lane is being wiped out, being surrounded on at least one side. Again, the funnel web making sure the top lane is a little bit easier to defend, but not by much. And again, there the ravens come in again to take out that funnel web. And once that's done, the top lane will be open up. And with the bottom lane taken care of, there is nothing left in the way of getting rid of this factory. There is an imp few coming in. Those two imps. Actually, really nicely timed too. That is perfect. There are no outlaws with that force at all. So the imps will be able to block off that salt over on the south side of the map. But of course, the north side, it's still a question of can you get rid of the funnel web? And the answer is, who cares? That's not the target. The target is actually the main base getting rid of Strider, getting rid of the gunship. I don't know, is it a fusion plant? Strider was gotten rid of. A lot of stuff have gotten rid of, actually. Ah, there it is. The fusion plant died. I was wondering where the fusion... Because it looked like there was a fusion plant explosion, or must have been. And indeed, that's what happened. And I agree with that, because look now, the Eastern team is a massive economic lead on top of the bandits destroying the jungle, losing the fusion plant, and all the overdrive that provided. Yeah, the Western team falling very much behind. Pushing with the funnel bubble is about the only real hope, and that is still surprisingly alive. But, nah, here come the Phoenixes to try to finish it off. And that should be it. Once the Phoenixes come in, that... Yeah, the Phoenixes coming in here. There is not a whole lot that will be able to save the funnel web. Actually, maybe. No, Phoenixes don't deal consistent damage. They they spread the damage. And with that caretaker still... Oh, the caretaker's down. Never mind. The caretaker's still up. The funnel web should be able to heal up. No problem. It's like, yeah, until the caretaker goes and dies. And now the funnel web lose just about losing their shields. Nah, I have 5,000 shields left. They got plenty of shields. The fences just don't care. It's like, you know what? Why are we fighting through the shields? Let's just walk through the shields and kill everything else. Not the best idea. Most of the fences are going to die, but I think it's going to be a still alive funnel web at the end of all this. I mean, the ravens aren't coming in. There are, are there still ravens being built? Oh, there are. Okay. And they're still being used, too. But not all that much. However, the funnel web does get taken out, and I think that is going to be it. I think we're going to see Firepluck throw in the towel at this point. Some rebuilding of economy has happened, but it's nowhere near enough. And yeah, Firepluck already prompting the resign. Or asking about the resign. Yeah, Firepluck's already up. 400. Think they're going to throw in the towel. They might try. Do they have anything else they might try? Any striders being built up? Anything? And oh, they got Reclaim going. Some fusion plants being built up? I mean, they've got factories? Good imp, too. But it may not be in. I don't think it's going to be enough. That imp has no follow-up. Once these forces are no longer stunned, that's five seconds? Yeah. Five seconds are no longer stunned. That fusion reactor is going to be dead. And with this fusion reactor dead, that's pretty much going to be game, I think. That's... Yeah, that is it. Right as the fusion reactor dies, Far Under throws in the towel, and Steel Blue and, and Ultra Godzilla win another game. Well done, you two. On a really weird map with a really weird lighting issue and design that I can't. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of reminiscent of Dota style maps. It's really the river. That's the thing that really throws me. But you can't, you can't move units through the river because it's too deep. So you can't rotate through the river. You have to go around the, I guess, the what would have been normally the jungle area, but there's no creeps in 0k, so... Actually, I think you might be able to put in units there, like neutral, but hit attack everyone, but I don't... I've never seen that. That might be a mutator. Anyway, that was weird, and that. So, we're gonna have a couple tiebreak matches, both on Red Comet. I didn't do every match in every round, but I am gonna do both tiebreak matches. The first one's gonna be 400 Fireblood versus Kingstead and Hogamoko, which I believe was a tiebreaker for third place during the actual tournament. Not sure. 
Yes, that was a tiebreaker for, for third place. So that, I'll do both tiebreakers in the same video. So those of you watching on YouTube, it will be one video. And I guess on Twitch, there just won't be a break in between. So we'll be back with that in a couple minutes. Stay tuned.